Uh, now, uh, this is actually quite a special day for us because uh, those of you who remember the first Wynn conference that uh, took place, uh, I think it was around about summer last year. This was before the days of uh, the AHSN being formed and so on. It was actually the brainchild of a chap called Kush uh, Nirvinta Kumar. Uh, he's, not, he's, he's not here today. He's not, he, he, these days he's uh, ne neck deep in teaching, so he's probably teaching something. But, uh, and it, this was started with the aim of bringing together health professionals, industry, and universities together to look at innovations that we can uh, deploy to improve our health systems. and. Uh, if you like, improvement science actually implemented. So the first conference took place, and after that, of course, the AHSN was established. With the support of the AHSN, WIN has gone from strength to strength and uh, acquired some momentum. So now I'd like to pay a tribute to our new team. That's, uh, that includes uh, Sarah Lim, who is the academic lead, supported by uh, Theo Arvanitis and Martin Roland, from whom you get all those emails. Um, he's an audience somewhere. He's the WIN coordinator. And of course, there's, a, there's an advisory group that helps you know, provide advice on the way forward. So why a symposium? I think there are a number of events that you have had. Many of you may have participated in workshops and all that throughout the year. But you know, this is the home of blue sky thinking. You know, uh, there are no vested interests here. You can come and speak freely and, and explore uh, ideas uh, that you would like to uh, take forward together with colleagues, uh, both in academia, NHS, and industry. So, um, and I think one of the, the, the clue is there in the title. It's a network. So part of what you need to do is use this opportunity to network with colleagues, because most of what you want to do, you can do in, you know, in your own place. But here, you know, it's a chance to find out what others are up to and learn uh, and collaborate. Now, uh, one of the things with the changing NHS landscape is that uh, we went through a phase where the fragmentation was quite extreme. It still feels very fragmented, uh, and everybody's at each other's throats, and and uh, uh, and, and that competition was the main uh, keyword. Of course, the the emphasis has changed now, and now it's all about a converging agenda. And the reason is, it's now clear to everyone that uh, in each organisation just working independently and trying to do what it does well. Uh, we can't uh, really change the way we deliver healthcare, and there isn't the money to do it that way anymore. And uh, we shouldn't lose this, waste this crisis. And uh, there are opportunities with uh, integrated care solutions where the technology al already exists, and with minor adaptations in there, just you can actually transform the way we deliver healthcare. And I think that's the opportunity we need to grasp. And uh, I think the West Midlands AHSN is trying to do that, and uh, so I think you can get support on various projects you do via that source. Um, but of course, you have to pick your priorities and focus on them. But I think this is a great opportunity. And next month, uh, some of you will receive, well, I hope all of you will receive invitations to another event that we at IDH will are planning to host, which will again be uh, helpful in bringing together groups on particular issues and uh, bring together industry, uh, academia, and NHS. We are building um, a demo room in uh, IDH. Uh, it's, the construction's been going on forever, almost like a road works. But uh, in due course, we'll be ready, and I hope you'll all come to visit. You can actually see some of the innovations in action, play with it if you like. And uh, you'll also, we are also going to invite industry to provide exhibits. So if you're interested in uh, coming along, please let Martin or actually Theo know, and uh, we, we can make sure you get invited. So, without much further ado, I, I apologize for the delay again, but I think uh, uh, what's happening is the city council has to spend all the money it's got before the next election. You know? <laughs> so, so every single road that it wants to do it, it has to do now. So that's why. But I can promise you, next uh, next year's symposium, you'll have fantastic roads. <coughs> So, 
Now, uh, without much further ado, I'd like to invite our first keynote speaker, uh, Alec uh, Price Forbes. He's the Chief Invest uh, Information Officer at uh, uh, University Hospital Coventry and Warwickshire. I think what he's going to do is actually tell you the problems don't never change. That's what I find. You know, you go to every conference, the same people have the same problems. But it's the approach to it that you get start seeing changes. Very occasionally, you see someone uh, uh, approaching it, you know, completely radically differently, and those are always good to see. So I welcome uh, Alex now to give his first keynote. 